What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. I do say new, but I feel like this was posted a few days ago, maybe the 22nd or something like that, but I was so focused on Hell's Gate getting that show up to you guys that I didn't even really focus on any really figure news, but we do have some more epic stuff coming our way from Mattel and the WWE Elite Squad, the WWE Elite fan takeover line. You guys remember, uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago or maybe a week ago, we referred to this tweet right here by Action Figure Attack and WWE. They came to us. They were announcing a new WWE fan takeover elite line coming in 2021 where you, the fans, get to choose the gear on each figure. This was the first figure they talked about. They gave us the options of WrestleMania 35 Seth Rollins, Sur Survivor Series 2019 Seth Rollins, and SummerSlam 2018 Seth Rollins, which we did see in a basic and I think basic 102, I do believe. We've seen a basic of the Thanos attire there. And I don't remember which figure won in this series, but WWE did tweet out two different new polls regarding new figures that we are going to be getting. Let's go ahead and take a first look at the first one. This is going to be Adam Cole. So Adam Cole is the next figure in the wave. And again, we don't know what sets these are going to be. We don't know if there's two in a set, you know, three in a set, four in a set, five in a set. Who the hell knows right now? But we do know this, this elite line isn't coming until 2021. So we do know that we're getting Rollins. We do know that we're getting Cole now. And these are the three options it gave us. You guys can see there, I did not vote for option B. I voted for option C. But you guys can see the final results of the poll is uh, that the middle one won. So I, I really don't know why everybody voted for that attire. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad attire. You can see here they, they tweeted out which Adam Cole Pro, which is his Twitter handle, which Adam Cole action figure should Mattel include in the Elite Fan Takeover line, WWE Elite Squad. And you guys can see there the three options. On the far left, you have a gray, yellow, and silver. In the middle, you have a black, yellow, and uh, silverish gray. I, can't, I think it's like a silver AC on there for Adam Cole. And then on the far right, we have the war games attire which would match Roderick Strong you got the you know the camo the AC the yellow and everything like that now I honestly do not know why everybody voted for option num number two I, I really don't uh, I don't know if people just love that attire more it looks like there's like a red line in the attire I can't remember exactly where he wore this attire I'll try to you know bring up images as I speak about this option um, but that one is what won so that one was really odd to me you guys can see there there was like 15.3 thousand votes in this poll 53%. So over half of them chose this middle attire, and I really don't know why. Again, I would have liked to seen us get the Adam Cole in the camo, because we have two Adam Coles in black already. Even if we got the far left attire, that would have been fine too, because it's something different. It's gray, it's silver, you get a different look. You get, you know, the yellow on there. We've already seen a black attire in his Undisputed Era Epic Moments 3-pack from Mattel, and then we got his Elite, whatever, what was it, Elite uh, 71 Adam Cole with the North American Championship. We've seen that one in black too. So I, for one, would have liked to seen the first option or the third option, but the middle attire is definitely cool. I do like the yellow. I like the Undisputed Era in it and everything like that. I just would have preferred to see, especially the third one, because it matches Roderick Strong, and then they could have given us the Elite 2-pack with Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. So I really, I, I don't know, man. That, that's just me. I, I voted for number C or number three or letter C, whatever the hell you want to say there. Option C is what MDT voted for, and I don't know how we didn't get it, but we did not get it. And I want to say that in the Rollins poll, I don't really remember seeing the final results, but I'm pretty sure the Thanos didn't win, and I don't think the Survivor Series won either. So it looks like we're going to probably get the WrestleMania 35 Rollins, which I guess works out. I have a custom of both of those two, so I guess I, I really wanted the Thanos attire because I know we got it in the basic, but I really would have loved to seen an elite of that. I think they could have tweaked it. They could have made it way better than we got the basic for, but uh, it doesn't, I don't know. I don't think we're going to be getting that. We'll just have to see um, because the fans are going to decide this wave. That's the whole point of the wave is the fans are voting on it. So if you guys have a Twitter account, make a Twitter account, turn on WWE post notifications. Uh, don't do that. Don't, do not turn on post notifications for WWE. They'll blow your phone up. Follow WWE Action Figure Attack myself so that when these polls go up, you'll be able to vote for them because you do want to get in on that if you don't want, you know, figures that you don't want made, get made. But uh, Adam Cole was the first one, or Adam Cole was the second one. We did see Rollins as well. It looks like both of those figures have failed as far as the ones that I wanted to get. But now we're going to move on to the third figure announced by Mattel, or this may have been the second. I can't remember which one of these came first. I feel like this one may have came before Adam Cole, but announced by WWE as well. It says, which version of Ricky Steamboat? 
Steamboat, should Mattel, including the WWE Fan Takeover Line, Starcade 1993, WrestleMania 3, and WrestleMania 25. Now, I think we've already seen the middle one from WrestleMania 3. We did see it with, uh, or was it Starcade? I can't remember which, I think... The WrestleMania 3 figure, I'm pretty sure we got in the Walmart line, the Walmart flashback exclusive line. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's the attire we got for him. And then his first DM figure, uh, the Defining Moments Ricky the Dragon Steamboat from way back in the day. I think that was his debut of the Dragon character, I think. And uh, we got one that was very similar to... To this, it wasn't the exact figure because that one had scales on it. This one has like a dragon, uh, but it does include the entrance gear, white headband, which is very similar to the figure that we got in that Defining Moments line. But uh, I think we got the middle option, and then we have WrestleMania 25, which is when he returned, I think, for like a... I can't remember if it was the Hall of Fame or if it was like a certain segment. I can't remember off the top of my head, but... Um, that's obviously a later Ricky the Dragon. That was when he had already retired. And that was when, obviously, he wasn't in the ring currently. So we probably would have got a cloth goods vest or entrance robe with the white headband with, like, an updated head scan with no hair or shaved head or whatever it is. But it does look like we're going to be getting the 48% right there with WrestleMania 3, which I'm pretty sure is the flashback exclusive figure. I could be wrong about that again. I'll probably plug in the figure. If that's the same figure, it could be. It could not be. But uh, that figure was hard to track down, so maybe that's why they did that. I'm not exactly sure. But... But um, that was the third figure in the wave. So, so far we have announced Seth Rollins, Adam Cole, and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And again, um, out of these three, I really don't know which ones I would have liked to seen. A or B is fine with me. I really don't think I would have liked a returning Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Even though you could probably use that, you know, that cloth robe for something. I just, I, I don't know. It's not intriguing me. But uh, Ricky the Dragon wouldn't have been somebody that I'd put in the line. I like Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Legendary wrestler, obviously. But uh, we already have a couple of him anyway. And I know you're going to say, you know, Rollins and Cole, we already have a couple of. But I honestly would like to, I'd prefer to have current guys over guys that have already retired. And uh, that's just me. But I know a lot of people out there really want legend stuff like that, which is cool. That's fine. I'll take a Ricky the Dragon. He's a really nice dude. Actually met him. And he is he is a standout guy. So Ricky the Dragon getting another figure with Adam Cole and Seth Rollins in this takeover line. Now I'm really interested to see which figures come next from Mattel in this line. I'm wondering if we'll get another flashback since we already have two current guys in Rollins and Cole. Maybe they'll, you know, we rewind time here and give us another legendary guy. I know a lot of people like they really do hate it. Like, a lot of fans for WWE Mattel cannot stand getting a bunch of Seth Rollins. They can't stand getting AJ. They can't stand getting all the Cena's and the Hardys. Like, they really get pissed off. I've seen it in the forums. I've seen it all over the community that people do not like getting a bunch of the same character, especially when it's current, guys. Um, I've seen that it's usually, it's typically the older fans that I usually see um, that are, are complaining about that, and I don't care. Just make whoever you want. That's fine with me. I, I, I'm going to probably grab them anyway, so it, it really doesn't matter, man. Make whoever you want. Make Bill. Make some referees. Make whoever the hell you want. I'll, I'll be purchase it, purchasing it, so uh, that'll be it, and I'll review it for you guys, and you guys can decide if you want to purchase it for yourselves, but there it is. That is pretty much all I have for you guys today. I would like to know down in the comment section below which one you prefer out of the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, which attire would you personally want out of the Adam Cole, and which attire would you personally want out of the Seth Rollins? Again, I cannot believe that we voted for option B. I, I just, I don't know, man. Like, I know it's a nice attire, but I, I honestly would have preferred the gray slash silver or the camo. Like, the camo, man. The camo with the yellow, that shit pops off, man. It looks so fire. I don't know the if it's like, have you noticed, like, option B has won the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat one and the Adam Cole one? And uh, potentially, I don't know what the final results were on the Rollins, but if it's if it ends up being the Survivor Series 2019, then I'm going to say that uh, people are just voting for the middle one, man. They're just voting. They're seeing that that middle attire. It's catching their eye like immediately when they look at the poll, and they're just pressing option number two. I don't know. Am I crazy? Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you guys think that uh, that I'm insane that I don't want the black attire? It's not that I don't want the black attire, but. Or am I insane for wanting the, the War Games attire or the silver slash gray over the black? Let me know down in the comment section below. Um, the, the gray slash uh, silver attire wouldn't be that hard to customize. Um, you know, covering that AC in yellow and then uh, painting up the... D, the, the um, the trunks in the in the other color wouldn't be too bad, but doing that camouflage is going to be a bish if you wanted to do that, especially with like black outline um, on there and everything like that. That would be pre pretty hard to do. So without decals, I don't know if that's going to be possible. But Adam Cole, 
Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Seth Rollins coming soon, or not soon, but next year in the WWE Elite Fan Takeover line. Maybe people will forget, and we'll end up getting the ones that Mattel wants to make, and they'll make the ones that I want them to make. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm going to go watch some AEW, eat some dinner, and, sh and ish like that. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for everything. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys so you can check out these freaking polls when they go up. Even if you just make a make a Twitter account called Fartbag Salad Tech and uh, make your password password 237 or 123 or whatever the hell you want to do and then create one just to vote in these polls. Do that so that we can get one vote closer to not getting the, the attires that, that MDT doesn't want. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.